On Talking Planning, I have recently started talking a little bit more about buses built by Denning, who are an Australian coach builder with a long history, including many successful products and partnerships. Some of their highlights include the usual coach suspects, the Denning Landseer, and double deck bodies, but they also build bodies for some key route service buses around the country. Brisbane's Leyland Panther, many of which were fitted with Denning bodies during the late 60s, were a big part of the city's somewhat questionable transition away from trams and to buses. At least Denning did do a good job on their end. Moving into the 1980s, the MAN SL200, which when fitted with a Denning body, accounted for over 150 buses delivered to Brisbane Transport during the early to mid 80s. In the 90s, Denning partnered with Austral to body some of Brisbane's Volvo B10M Metroliners and Action's Canberra Renault PR100.3s. The late 90s and early 2000s were a bit of a lull for the company during a period of administration, but onwards and upwards and moving into the mid-2000s, Denning started building chassis for route buses. Kangaroo Bus Lines had a few buses with Denning chassis and custom coaches bodies, for example. In a return to form, however, they also launched the Phoenix Line, which includes a midi bus, standard size coaches, and some rather flash three-axle affairs along with some simple but reliable low floors. They also recently launched the Element, a fully electric, fully Australian built bus, which I would love to go and check out sometime soon. So this isn't a detailed history into Denning, but it is well worth a read if you like that sort of thing. Unfortunately, not all their products did so well, and hence today's bus is a very rare treat from Interline. And is what I believe to be the only low floor Adeling B Denning bodied Volvo B7RLE ever produced. Let's jump on board. Once on board, the first thing that I noticed are that the windows are huge. There is a lot of natural light that comes through the interior. This is excellent and it makes this bus feel light and airy. Apart from that though, it does look a lot like a early Bustech ULF product inside, except with big windows. On the outside, the headlights look to be the same full-size lights fitted to Denning Galaxy coaches, which on a low floor bus seem huge. Perhaps the front end of the design was a bit of the downfall of the shape, and it did look a little too much. Maybe that's part of the reason they didn't sell as well. This bus was built back in December 2002, so it was from a similar era to Logan's Volvo B12 BLEs with bus tech bodies, which I will be checking out soon, by the way. I can confidently say, however, there are a surprising number of similarities between these two quite different buses. Back to the B7 RLE, being an early version, my guess is that this one has the Volvo D7C engine rated at 250 horsepower and Euro 3 emissions. This was an early variant only used in the first couple of years of B7 production, but let's have a quick listen now. Looking around the interior a little more, it is plain and simple, like the Bustec ULF. But this splotchy seat fabric is a little bit different. It's not quite as busy as the graffiti style state transit seats, but it is a little bit brighter than the monocolour cloths that were popular with some of the large operators like Westbus.
Sitting up the back, there is one unusual design cue, that rear window, which, whilst it's really big and deep at the front, curves up quite significantly at the back. It does look more interesting than just having a smaller panel, but equally, wouldn't it have just been better to have gone for flush glass in the first place? Still, it does seem to be quite similar to a classic bus tech inside, which is interesting. And I did quite enjoy my brief trip on board this very unique bus, but as it was only a short ride and there was a big storm approaching, it's time to work out how I'm going to get back into town. So, thank you for joining me on board this one-off Allen B. Denning low floor. I will see you again soon.